Hey folks, here we have a little bit of a cool animation. We call it the services, uh, so the services cell phone animations. Obviously these images can be changed out for other things. We've actually uh, looked at some websites on what our, our members have already done and I think the coolest thing I ever saw was actually two Zambonis. You know those big cool things that you put on the ice in the between the, uh, the periods of a hockey game or uh, uh, on the ice rink? Yeah, two of them. Absolutely cool. So, how do we change these things? What are they? And that sort of a thing. How do I size the images and that sort of thing? Well, basically the framework is all in there. The only thing you really need to do is just change the pictures and then maybe perhaps um, align them up. Now, this is how it works. I'm going to just jump in here first. I'm going to go to my index page, go find that section, which is the, uh, is it our services? Let me just make sure I'm, our services, yep. All right, you're not gonna see them in here, but if we go to the code view, like so. Um, here we have it. Uh, sorry, I just scroll down there a little bit. We have a class of cell phone left and cell phone right. Now, if you've watched any of the other videos, um, these particular classes are oftentimes just associated with the page that they're in. There's no use in putting them in um, uh, the main style sheets because they're only used in certain pages. But in this case, it would be the index CSS. Okay, and how do we know that? Because up at the top of the page, uh, when we have uh, certain current page CSS is what we're calling it, uh, there's an index.css page right there located in the site styles pages folder. And we have index.css. All right, so let's just pop in here. And we're going to go find the cell phone left and the cell phone right. Okay, so there they are right there. Those are the two classes. And basically what we're doing in the index page is we're animating these two classes into place. Uh, skills, let me just go find it again. It's kind of silly of me to lose it. There it is right there. So cell phone left, cell phone right. We, we have the fade in left and the fade in right. We're just using the animate.css properties. If you're not sure what that is, you can actually change the animations. Fire up Google, type in animate dot css first page to come up and then there's a really cool little widget you can play with to uh, see what different classes are available um, but the thing is where do these in images come from and how do you change them according to our index.css here in our themed images backgrounds folder that's where the cell phone background left and the cell phone background right png are so if you want to change them out you can actually change the name of the image right here there's the you want to put new images in just put them in here but I wanted to show you something first before we you know leave the uh, the information here is here's our cell phone left and here's our cell phone right if I create a brand new page and drag these images on here's the left image right there okay you see how there's some space over here well, let me just drag the cell phone right on here okay See, when I click the image, it shows the entire image size, but there's a bunch of white space over here, and I click this one here, there's a bunch of white space. Then we look at the page itself, and you see how they sort of overlap like that? Yeah, that's how we do it. We, um, it's actually in the image itself where there's some extra white space, and then we can have one image sort of go underneath the other one and basically cheat by aligning them to the, uh, uh, basically to the uh, center of the middle cell. So basically we've just said... There's a column in here, and we've set both images to be aligned uh, to the center. So one actually goes over top of the other, right? But we add a little bit of white spacing with the image to, so it lines up exactly the way we want it, right? So if I were to uh, want to change how that alignment worked, what I could actually do is, uh, uh, let's just say I want to, um, I'm going to open this in my favorite Adobe Fireworks here. And I'll just show you a real little trick here for you, you folks who want to change things around. You can use any image editor here. But I just want to show you an example of uh, what you could do. <coughs> There's our, our cell phone. And you see with the canvas, if you've worked in a graphic program before, all this checkered background, that's the sort of just empty space. But we could actually move, if we actually physically move the image like so and saved, and I go back to my page and I refreshed watch where the white cell phone ends up it now ends up right over top of the other one simply because we moved it in the canvas and we could actually do that again for the uh, for the uh, the left one I'm going to open with uh, fireworks like so and then we could take this one here and slide it all the way over like this 
and one, two, three, four, and save, and I go back to my page again and refresh, and what, look what's going to happen now, because I've moved that image physically within its its own sort of PNG image container. And you can do that in Photoshop Illustrator, uh, any of the million different graphic editors out there. Just open it up and boom. And if you need help, hey, just contact us. We can whip up a couple of pics for you, and uh, it shouldn't be a problem. I know a lot of folks don't know how to do that, so we're always around to help.